Greetings and welcome to another Warhammer Underworld's Diachasm Battle Report. This battle report sees me using Elethane Soul Raid against Rob and his Crimson Court. This battle report was recorded live on my Twitch channel as a webcam game at twitch.tv forward slash cannyrollercrit. Before we get into the decks, please remember to like and subscribe as well as to comment as what you thought of the battle report and what you'd like to see on the channel. But yeah, for the decks, once again, I'm using my basically aggro semi-control poison deck for the Elethane Soul Raid. So my goal is to get into enemy territory, partly with the fish, use the fish to apply poisons, and just try and surge in and overwhelm the, oppo the opponent, basically. So not much has changed. I don't think I've changed the deck at all. So it's just remembering stuff. I mean, the other issue is I'm still having trouble remembering <laughs> certain reactions like the show token, but unfortunately that's just going to take lots of practice because you know you can't really use cheat sheets so that's pretty much it for my deck but rob is going for a very control with some slight aggro but it's a control hunger deck with the crimson court basically so it's a twist on my deck so my deck for the crimson court is very defensive it uses well basically the lost pages and sits back and basically makes one fighter unkillable and then i score a ton of glory because I sit back and just generate hunger counters. So Rob has kind of followed that. He isn't using the Lost Pages, but it's a very turtle control build. Obviously just sitting back with hunger counters, but then he's got enough aggro in there to, well, take apart anyone who gets too close or someone he wants to effectively snipe. Obviously it'd be more difficult if he was facing a four fighter, well, a warband with lots of four wound fighters, but my warband does not have that. So it'll be interesting to see how it does because so the more he sits back, the better it is for me. So yeah, it'll be an interesting clash. I think it'll be quite evenly matched because I'll take a while to wear him down, but he won't be able to one-shot me either until his leader gets bloodthirst or he gets upgrades. So yeah, let's get on with the battle report. I'm going to... Oh, crap. Get rid of it! I'm going to bin blood curse oh. of victory and season of famine. Yikes. Yeah. Six glory. Yeah. And I'm going to... I'll keep my power hand because it hurt getting rid of those <laughs> objectives. I think that's probably lost me the game. Oh, sugar. I've just drawn three power cards. That's fine. I'll, we'll put them back and I'll reshuffle. Oh, Kali. Oh, Kali. I know, you don't get... Yeah. You don't get primacy from killing my fish. I just... It's Warband, so confusing. <laughs> okay, let's roll for placement. I have two crits, a single, and a full support. Uh, two crits and a full support. So I win. Good I roll. will sell first. Yeah. All right, so let's roll off for priority. I'm using primacy, you're using primacy. I get, I rolled two crits, and I get an eight crit, so I have three crits. I got two doubles and a semi. <laughs> I'll let you go first. Good luck. I'll give you all Wait. hunger counters. Oh, yes. I get hunger counters. Oh, Christ. What are we using for hunger counters? I'm just using glass beads. You're going to need more. So. I'll use um, Grand Clash Glory. Nice. It's a good way to use that stuff. Um, for my first action, I'm going to draw a power card. Nice. Any power cards? A pass. As will I, for my first activation, I will move Furian. further trigger you, I'm going to use mismatched. Oh my gosh. Activation token. I hate you. I'm going to move Furian. Four hexes. One, two, three, four. So after her move action, I'll react with the crowd to push him one hex towards her. So she's next to two, yeah? Uh, she's behind your block hex in the middle. Okay, and you've pushed the crab one. Yep. Then in um, the power step, I'll pass. The, oh, I forgot, I'll do it next time. It's the shell token I forgot. For my second, yeah. I'm going to move the lady one, two, three to there. Oh, no, that's a bad idea. I've seen what I've done here. She moves four, doesn't she? Yes. And she does two damage. Yes. Free Fury, two damage. Hmm. 
Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I'm going to move the lady onto one, sticking with that. It was a good decision. Don't second guess yourself, Rob. <laughs> Any power um, cards? I will pass. Okay, as will I. So after your activation, I will place a shoulder token in between your free fighters. Yeah. So for my second, I will move Tamayo. One, two, three, four into the edge hex. After my activation, I will react with the crab to push him next to them. Because I have three fighters in enemy territory now, I will score speed of the flood tide for one. Um. Then in the power step, um, edit. I will pass. Oh, sorry, I, I have a card to play. Oh, go ahead, sorry. I'm going to play... Counter charge. Um, no, you didn't charge. Oh. But you did push the crab. Oh, uh, you're going to play thingy. I'm going to mirror move. Oh, no, you pushed the crab. Crap. Yep. That's the one I want to push. He's my crab. Yeah, so I, won't, I don't think I'll play anything. Okay. So then uh, in the power step, I'll pass any power cards. Hmm. No. Uh, for my third, I'm going to draw power cards because I don't have a clue what I'm doing here. <sighs> Any right. power cards? Uh, yes, I'm going to play Energy Drain. Okay. On my, on the f objective one. Yep. So she gets a move token, and they all get hunger. Yeah. Huh. Um. No power cards from me. So I'll place the spine fin in between those three fighters after your activation. Yeah. So then for my third... Yeah, that's fine. I will charge with Tameo. Mm -hmm. And he'll throw his harpoon at your leader. So it's free fury with a support. Yeah, where's he charging to? Just one hex forward. Oh, okay, yeah. So I've rolled uh, two successes, so you need a crit. I'm rolling hot tonight. I believe... Yes, a dodge. <laughs> oh my gosh. So you take two damage, and because he has a Riptide ability, I can push a fighter instead. So I will push you into the lethal, so you have one wound left. Okay. Uh, I'm going to react with Mirror Move and pull you one towards me. I will then... Yeah, I'll spend a glory, and I'll give Tameo Sanguine Pearl. What is that? Oh, no, do I want to do that? Oh, no, you wouldn't do that. That's right. Uh, uh, no, actually, I won't actually give them that because that won't work because I know what you're going to do. Um, yeah, no, no, I won't. Uh, so in the power step, I will... I'll play distraction mm -hmm. to push your leader back next to the spine fin. Any power cards? Are you just going to distract me back into that lethal again? Um, what? Never. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play Ferocious Lunge. So what does that do? Uh, plus one move or plus two move if you have one or more hunger counters. Cool. I'm going to play Spine Toad Toxin on your leader. So uh, every time he moves, he takes one damage and it persists until he's dead or the end of the game. Okay. Any power cards? Hmm. That's kind of messed me up. No, no power cards. Cool. So it's your fourth activation. It's my fourth. Yes, you oh. went first. Oh, I really misplayed this terribly. Um, okay, I'm going to charge one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Yep. And have a pop at your leader. Yep. Two, four hammers. Getting one hammers. So I need a block or a crit. I run a dodge, so I take two damage. Two damage. Uh, and I score gathered momentum. Nice. Uh, any power cards? Oh, you're going to drive yeah. me back? I'm going to play Inured by Hunger on Prince Duval. What does Inured to Hunger do? Um, I'll read the card, rather. I don't know why I try and explain it. 
Use during an attack action that targets this fighter after the determined success step. If you do, remove all this fighter's hunger counters, reduce damage dealt to this fighter by that attack action by the number of counters removed to a minimum of one. Okay. Oh, crap. I thought it was to a minimum of zero. No. I might not, I might not play that on him, <laughs> given that he's only got one wound left. Sorry. Um... Yeah, I'm, in that, I'm not going to play anything. Sorry. Do you mind? No, that's fine. There, I will... I, I misread that card. That is... I had a really clever play there. Uh, I'm going to spend the glory to give yeah. my leader great strength. Ah. Your leader's movement four. Uh, with free smash. Uh, I'm going to play distraction and push your leader sideways one. Yep. No power card for me. Uh, I also pass. Okay, so then for my last activation, my leader will charge. One, two, to the edge hex. Yeah. Oh, no, my positional play is all over the place today. <laughs> I was uh, trying to... Oh, yeah. Free smash. Yeah. I rode a crit and a success, so you can't defend free damage and I push him into the lethal. Yeah. So I just get one for the kill. Yeah. Uh, That's annoying. Power step. Yeah, because I'm kind of surprised you did that. But I oh, it's it. really stupid play. I was so set on stopping you getting behind him. It didn't occur to me you could just run next to me. Yes, I was like, <laughs> I'm not even going to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, power step or pass? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll also pass. So, scoring, you went first. Did you get anything? Uh, I get. On the chase, score this if an end phase if each surviving friendly fighter has one or more hunger counters. Yep. I got a growing hybrid, score this in end phase if each surviving fighter has one or more hunger counters. Tough objectives. Tough objectives for drawing cards. Really hard um, to score. I'm going to spend one and give in awesome appetite to Prince Duval. Is that um, we can eat, eat hunger to heal? Uh, no, it is each time this fighter makes an attack action that takes an adjacent enemy. Oh, I have to kill them. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's not in a terrific position, is he? No. Because he's next to the lethal, but if he moves, he dies. Yeah. So, uh, you know what? I'll give that to Velus because yep. someone needs to do something useful. I'm going to give Hungering Harpoon to Anias. Yep. And I'm going to give Inured to Hunger to Velus as well. I'll keep my other objective. I will draw two more and five more power cards. Cool. Uh, so you scored three objectives, right? I have, yes. Cool. I'm going to get rid of Underdog. I do mm -hmm. score Guardians of the Deep because no one is in my terror. No enemy fighters are in my territory. I'll spend two glory, so I'll give Sanguine Pearl to Tameo. So adjacent attacks do minus one damage to a minimum of one. And Unstoppable Fury lets my leader reroll one attack dice during a charge. So I'll draw two objectives and then one five power cards. Then we roll off for round two. Uh, so I'd like to win this roll. I've got a crit and a, full a single support. I got two hammers, a sword and a dodge. Uh, so, oh, I win. Let me just clear well, I get, up. I get hunger counters. Yeah, so your uh, Velas so and your leader Velas are bloodthirsty. Are bloodthirsty, yeah. And all my fighters inspire because it's round two. I'll just flip the crab because the crab's the important one to remember. So I will go first, of course. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, so for my first activation, I will attack. I mean, Tamir will attack, obviously. Yes. Two smash, and he'll attack Velas von Fane. So two smash okay. with the support. I've got a single success, so you need a block or a crit. A block. Cool. I'll drive you back into the starting hex. Yeah. Then in the power step, I will play Terra Knight Venom on Velas. So for the rest of the round, I get to reroll one attack dice when I attack her. Okay. Any power cards? I'm going to give... <clears throat> um, I'm going to play Compelling Hunger and just push my leader there and give him a hunger token. Uh, 
I will react with Duel of Wits to draw two cards. Uh, you'll play Restless Prize and oh. Shove Objective. Oh, no, sorry. No, sorry, it's yours, isn't it? Uh, I will pass. A Restless Prize 5 under um, Matey with the Wings. Yep. No power cards from me? Yeah, no power cards. <laughs> I'm going to go for this. I He's Absolute do- legend mode. He's doing just free damage, right? Because he's bloodthirsted. Yes. Yeah, two smash, free damage. Oh, I've just realised I haven't got any glory. I can't do the, the stupid thing I was going to do, which is fine. So for my first, um, my leader's going to have a pop at Tamiel. Yep. Two, two hammers, three damage. Get a crit and a single support. So I'm two dodge, so I need two crits or a crit and a... St- a success. Uh, no. So I take normally three, but because of Sanguine Pearl, I reduce that by two. So I've got yeah. one wound left. That's... But two. By You're one. Two. By one. All right, by one. Yeah. Would you like um, to drive me back? He's got a range attack, hasn't he? Yes, yes, he does. So I probably won't uh, drive you back, uh, but I will score Hidden Purpose. Yep. I'm sad I got rid of those objectives at the start. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, if it helps, I'm not sad. Uh, would you like to play any power cards? No. Neither would I. So, for my second activation, my crab is going to charge your leader. So it's one, two, three. Yeah. Free Fury fully supported. You have a support as well. Yeah. Wow. Uh, all misses. Never mind. Oh. Power step. I will play Phantasmal Form. So in the next activation, all my fighters have free dodge. Okay. Sorry, I'm just reading my fighter cards because I don't know the fighters terrifically well. That's Okay. I guess for my second, Velas is just going to do her scything attack. Okay. Who is she going to attack first? Um, we'll attack the fish first. Yep. Uh, getting a hammer and a support. Uh, it has free dodge, so it needs uh, a, a two, uh, well, two successes because I've got supports. Yeah. Uh, I've rolled two successes, but you can drive her back. we will drive you back. And then I'll attack the crab. Two successes. So I need two blocks or a crit. Uh, nope, so I take two damage. Doesn't that kill him? He's got three wounds. Has he? Yeah, he's a he's big crab. Oh, bloody big. Oh. One wouldn't give for some extra damage about now. <laughs> Are you going to uh, leave him there or drive him back? Yeah, I'll push you back. Mind you, you get to push forward anyway. Okay. Any power cards? No. Okay, yeah. So for my third, because I am not going to play any power cards, Tame will charge back two hexes. So he will throw his harpoon at your leader. Yeah. Uh, so free fury. Is that what I want to do? No. Free fury, uh, a crit. So you need a crit. I can feel it coming in the single spot. Nope. He's dead. Two damage. He gets harpoon. Ciao. So I get one for the kill and primacy. Yeah, which scores me everything to prove because you have the primacy token. Nice. Uh, oh, no, I should be on four. Sorry. Four glory. Yeah, then in the power step, I will pass any power cards. Yes. I'm going to give Hunger for Success to Velas von Fein, which is, after this fight has failed attack action, remove three hunger counters. If you do, this fighter makes an attack action. If that attack action fails, deal one damage to this fighter. Okay. Uh, she's just doing two damage. Oh, tammy has got two wounds left. One wound left. Um, No power cards for me. Yeah, me either. So for my third... The dude with the wings is going to charge one, two, three, four, five, six onto objective one. Yep. He's going to fling his 
hungering harpoon at um, Tamayel. Okay. So Cozzy charge. No, oh, sorry. Cozzy's got hunger counters. Uh, it's plus two dice, so it's three for swords. Yep. Uh, whiffing. Yikes. Any um, power card? Oh, sorry. He should have had a hunger counter when I gave him that upgrade. Uh, no power cards for me. Sorry, that scores me cover ground. Yep. She has three. So they both have three hunger now? Uh, yes. Cover ground. Would you like to play any power cards? <laughs> no. Oh, crap. <laughs> I've only got three objectives left, and I can't <laughs> score one of them. That's, that's good. Just to hit. <laughs> I haven't really put any wounds on any of your fighters, either. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, sorry. Um, I score show of force as well. Yep. Can I have those power cards? Those objectives I discarded. No, I'm, af I'm afraid. Back. Afraid they're gone. Um, they're no. gone. For good. This is not. In that case, can I have extra power cards? No. Nope. Go on. It's not allowed. <sighs> um. Go. I can't even run away from you. Exactly. I. No, no power cards from me. So then I'll put the show token on objective five. So for my last activation, I will just cycle out everything to prove for another mm -hmm. objective. Uh, power step, I'll pass. Did I hit your leader earlier? Yes. Oh, wicked. Right, I'm going to spend one and give vampiric speed to Veles von Fein. So she is now movement... Movement four, uh, sorry, she's movement five, but plus two if she's bloodthirsted, which she is, so movement six. How much dice is she two, right? Yeah. yeah. I'll spend the glory to give my leader armor of the scythe eye, so adjacent attacks are minus one dice. <sighs> Any power cards? Yeah, uh, so it, um, it doesn't make any difference if I do that now, does it? Uh, no, no power cards for me. Uh, see, movement six, one, two, three, four, and then I'll just, I'll just play Beast Trail to be safe, and I'll pop my leader mm -hmm. onto onto the starting hex next to the block hex. Any power cards? No. All right, so it's your last activation. Uh, she's just going to charge in between the crab and Tamayel. Yep. Uh, and we'll attack. Uh, Tamayel first. Two yep. for hammers. Uh, whiffing. Yep. I, I will react with hunger for success and remove my hunger counters and make the attack again. Yep. Is it all hunger counters? Remove three of this fighter's hunger counters, yes. All of them, yep. Uh, one hammer. So I need a success or a dodge. I mean, a support dodge. I've rolled a dodge. Oh, bugger. Um, so I take a damage for that. Um, I guess you'll drive me onto objective two. Uh, yeah. And then my Will crab. Uh, yeah, and then the crab. Got one hammer. I need a block on two dice. I rolled a crit and a block. Oh, you rotter. Any power cards? Uh, no, pass. Okay. Uh, none from me either, so scoring. Uh, I went first. I don't get anything. I'm going to hold on to my objectives. I'll discard the primacy to get one spent. Oh, sorry, I did have an objective, to, uh, an upper power card to play. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I just want to give Glutton for Gore to Veles. Okay, what does that do? When this fighter is given one or more hunger counters, instead this fighter give that many hunger counters plus an additional one hunger counter. When this fighter would remove a hunger counter, instead remove that many hunger counters plus one additional hunger counter. Yep. Uh, she inspires, by the way. Oh, shit. She does yep. as well. Is she good when she inspires? She gets uh, into Cleveland as well. And she's on guard. Dope. Is she on guard? Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Strength of Terror and Hunter of Souls, and then I'm going to draw up Five power cards. Does she uninspire as soon as she gets a hunger? No, when she gets three hunger counters. Yes. Which is annoying because I've just given her upgrade that's going to give her two, and she seems quite good inspired. Uh, uh -huh. Do you score anything? Uh, no, I'll keep both my objectives. 
We're and both super stubborn. Five new power cards. Well, I only have, they're the only ones I've got. Oh, yeah, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, I'm absolutely screwed. I needed, oh. I needed that Hail Mary play there that was incredibly unlikely to go off <laughs> to work. Um, so we roll for a priority. I have a crit and two fewer, uh, a full support. Okay. Uh, oh, I only rolled three dice. Uh, I rolled a single support. I will go first. So, uh, Terranai Venom ends. So, for my first activation, so she's got three wounds left, uh, but you've got Cleave and Ensnare. Oh, sorry, at the start of the round, they all get a hunger counter. She gets two because of Glutton for Gore. Uh, so, she's on guard. She's one defense, one block, right? Yeah, and she has the um, Inured by Hunger, so I can remove hunger counters for damage reduction. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I. There's so much text on these cards. I know, right? With. <laughs> so she's got two hunger with. Uh, sorry. Move. Move that. Yeah, so she's taken a wound. Got three wounds left. Okay. So you'd need to do five damage to one shot her. Oh, but she's lost Cleaven and Snare. Oh, she's just too damaged now, isn't it? No, she's still got Cleaven and Snare. It's when she gets. Th- Three, she becomes uninspired. Yes, so she's just two damage at the moment, right? Yes. Okay, cool. So for my first activation, Furian will move two hexes into the edge hex. Then in the power step, I'll give Leadbone Dust to Velas, so she gets the move token, and I gain ensnare against her for the round. Okay. Any power cards? Sorry, I'm going to duel a wits, you bet. Yep. Uh, any uh, power cards? Yes. I'm going to play Deathly Apotheosis. Yeah. And I'll choose Velas. Yeah. So what does do that do? Re- yeah. <laughs> choose one friendly fighter. This, this is a long one. While that fighter has bloodthirst, give that fighter one hunger counter at the end of each action phase and heal one. That fi- heal one and that fighter each time that fighter is given one or more hunger counters. Yeah. While that fighter is inspired, you can re-roll one dice in that fighter's attack roll. This persists until the fighter's taken out of action. Cool. It's basically an upgrade. Yep. I'm going to play Rock Snake Toxin on her, so at the end of the round she'll take one damage. Okay. You don't like her very much, do you? No. Uh, any power cards? Yeah, I'm going to spend one and give Velas mirrored... mirrored Oh, am I going to do that? I'm going to spend one and give her great strength. I'm going to pit, play Cloud of Midnight and choose Furian so she can't be chosen by attacks in the next activation or by gambits or whatever, or pushed. So if I do my scything attack... You don't have your scything, you're not bloodthirsted anymore. Oh, I'm not. That's fine then. That's absolutely fine. That makes life way easier. Okay, so for my... Uh, are you going to get more cards? Because we've just played about 20. No power cards for me. Uh... Yeah. So for my first, she's going to have a swing at the crab. Yep. Two for hammers with cleave and ensnare. Yes. Getting one hammer. So I need a crit or a support on two dice. I wrote two blocks, so he's dead. That gives me a glory. Um, now I can do a thing here. You can remove all your hunger counters. Each time that fighter makes an attack action, takes an adjacent target out of action, heal this fight, heal one this fighter, and give this fighter one hunger counter. So I'll heal her. Yep. Which uninspires her because she gets a hunger counter. Okay. Ah, uh, she's no longer on guard now. She is no longer on guard. Cool. No power cards for me. Any power cards? Uh. No. I'll place... Yeah, no power cards for me, so I'll place a show token in between your two friendly fighters. So for my second activation, Furian will charge into the starting hex. So she'll get a charge token. Just one hex? Yes. Mental. Free Fury. Uh, I miss, but I do score Surging Tide for making a second move action for one. Ah, uh, I see. On six. Then in the power step, I will pass. Uh, I'm going to spend one and give 
Velas Mirror Duelist. What does that do? Uh, she's considered to have one additional supporting fighter. Cool. No power cards for me. Okay. Uh, right, me either. So for my second, she's just going to have a pop at um, that fellow there. Yep. That lady there. So she is two hammers with a re-roll. I forgot I had a re-roll last time. Uh, hammer and a double sport. I'll re-roll the double sport. Hammer and a single sport. So that's two successes. Yes. So I... Um, two dodge. So I need two dodges or a crit. Uh, nope, she's dead. So get the primacy. primacy. How are you getting and the re-roll again? Off of Deathly Apotheosis. Okay, yep. Oh, I shouldn't have had the re-roll. Okay, then she's then she's alive. Spied. Did you roll one? Because I rolled one success. Yep. Yep. Oh, so bugger. she's not dead. Cool. Are you going to keep me there or drive me back? Um, I suppose I'll leave you there. Cool. Any power cards? Yeah. It's a good job you asked that. So much text. It's your fault for killing my other fighters so I can spread my, uh, my nonsense around. Uh, no, I've got nothing. I'll spend a glory to give Glory Seeker to uh, oh, hang on. Tamil. Sorry, John. Do you mind if if we don't finish the attack step yet? Why? So I shouldn't have had the reroll. So I can remove three hunger counters. Okay, yep. To attack again, I think. Is that on her? Let me just check. I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, so I'll remove three hunger counters. Yep. And attack again. Okay. And if it fails, I take a damage. Uh, oh, a hammer and a crit. So I need a dodge and a crit. Nope. So she's okay. dead. That was a long way to get there. Sorry, man. I'm That's still, okay. Uh, learning the warband. One in primacy. So any power cards? No. I will spend a glory to give Tamail glory seeker. Okay. How much damage is he doing? Free now. Damn it. Okay. Uh, any power cards? No. Cool. So at the end of your activation, I'll put the spine fin in between your two fighters. Yeah. So he will, f uh, for my, call it whatever, uh, for my third, he will just attack, two smash, yes. two damage with supports. Uh, one success, so you need a block or a crit. A crit. That's... If she's done some work. <laughs> Uh, power step, I'll pass. Yeah. I've had two, haven't I? Yes, yeah, so it's going into your third. Yeah, I think I've lost now. Yeah. I'm going to play Outrun Death. No power cards for me. And I'll choose Vela. Oh, no, you've she given can't. her a move token. Yeah, so she's got a move token. Okay, I'm going to spend one and give her duelist speed. Okay, no power cards for me. Okay, so for my third, she's going to attack the fish. Yep. Uh, one support. Oh, no, two supports. Because she's counted crit. as having an additional support. Nope, so the fish is just removed. Yeah, and I'll react with duelist speed and push myself onto that starting hex. Cool. Any power cards? Uh, no. Pass. How many wounds has she got? Four. And I've used all my hunger counters, so though I've got the damage reduction thing, I have no way of reducing the damage. Okay, might still be a chance. So I'll place the fish token on objective five. So then for... Why, so, why do you want objective five so much? Why not? For my last activation, I will charge three hexes away. One, two, three. And I'll throw my spear, free fury into Velas. One success. So you need a block or a crit. Uh, nothing. Free damage. Uh, I'll use my Riptide ability to push you into the edge hex. Now that scores me a card. It scores me a spirited attempt. Yep. Uh, power step, I'll pass. Uh, I'm going to play Ferocious Resistance. Okay, yep. On Velas. Yeah, I've lost then. That's game. <sighs> No, I have never healed a wound with it. Oh, you're going to heal everything now. 
I heal no wounds. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! <laughs> it's meant to be amazing, that card, and it is not amazing. Okay, I'm going to play Outrun Death, and I'll choose the dude on objective one. No power cards. Uh, and then for my last, he's going to charge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, what's the better attack here? They are both exactly the same. What's your leader's attack profile? Defense profile, sorry. One block. One block. Time mail is two dodge. Yeah. Uh, so just charge to there, I suppose. Yep. And I'll fling my hungering harpoon at you. Yes. Three swords. Getting a crit and a sword. Dead. Uh, that's cost me any power cards. Uh, that Sorry, that should have given him a hunger counter as well. Yep. Sorry, no. Uh, no, nothing. Uh, none for me. So at the end of the round, Velus dies. So I get a glory for that. Yeah, I'm really sad I didn't have a way. If I had a way of giving her hunger or Furious Resistance had gone off. Wait, why did would... you roll three dice for it? She had no hunger. I mean, it doesn't what? matter. Because she had three wounds. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm thinking of how it was fixed. So anyway, so scoring, I get utter isolation because no one's adjacent to each other. I get clean kills because thankfully I managed to kill everyone who was wounded yeah. and I get promise of destruction. So I am on 12. Ah, uh, you win. I don't score anything. Oh, uh, you get the you discard the primacy, so we tie. Ah, oh, real Cause, tie. Yeah, because I can put the fish onto five, but the issue is like uh, the fish doesn't hold objectives. Let me just double yeah, check. Can, why did you keep putting him there? I just wanted him to get him away for utter isolation. That's the only reason. Can I uh, have a bonus point for having one fighter with eight upgrades? No, no. <laughs> what? Who has eight? Oh my gosh, she does have eight upgrades. <laughs> They've all got so much text on as well. <laughs> hey, the spine fin. Oh, my, my spine fin has way more. Don't try this text thing. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, <laughs> this fighter cannot hold. Yeah, so it's a draw. It's a dead. Because uh, you get one spent for the primacy. I, yes. I'll be honest. I thought you were going to absolutely demolish me there. I don't know what happened. I think my starting hand wasn't bad. I think I kind of bricked round two. Yeah, your round two felt very ineffective for that warband, because normally that's the big round, right? I think I got greedy with utter isolation, because I thought, oh, I'm going to score round two, and then all my attacks just kind of failed. Right. Because what was... Yeah, all the combo You got stuff. my leader, and you got Goreth. Oh, no, you got Goreth round one. Yeah. I mean, um, I shouldn't have discarded... Uh, uh, you know, loot... What it meant is I could just tech into her having everything. If I and I if I'd drawn a damage upgrade, I think. Oh my gosh. Earlier that could have been brutal. I'll take I'll take that for my first game with this war band. They're supposed to lose, Rob. The fish is supposed to lose. I uh, don't think the vampires work as an aggro war band, but like I was saying. Oh no, hundred percent they don't. People who say they do are just like they only work but, as an aggro war band if they're playing against a two wound fighter war band. Well, it's the one shield is just rubbish. Yeah, and they're all range one, apart from Gorath. Yeah. One one shield is a rubbish defense. Yes, um, this is. And, but you sort of look and go, I can spam all this hunger round, and then if I get the right upgrades, it makes them really... But I just, I had so many choices with her there when I was attacking. That I can choose to attack again, or I can choose to heal a wound, or I can do this, that, or the next thing. Um, and there's a bunch of cards that are all identical. <laughs> yeah, this is strange. Uh, shall, shall we go again with the fish? Uh, yeah, if you want. Can't um, believe my crab failed to kill your leader. I was gonna, I was gonna gloat so much if he did. Like, I think that's where you got greedy. My crab could have done it. It had cleave. And free and a support. So technically, if it just hit, it should have like minced yeah, you. Yeah, I did get a couple of crit defenses. I just missed the crab. Was like, you know, I'm not going to hit today. So, so yeah, there we have it. Super close. I don't think I've ever drawn on like stream before. It's crazy. Because yeah, um, the spine fin can't hold objectives, so it doesn't matter for tiebreakers. And we both have the same amount of fight. Well, we both have fighters alive, so we tie. <laughs> it's 
interesting. I don't think I did any misplays. I think it's just literally my objective deck basically bricked in round two. Because I keep doing this when I play Elephthane Soul Raid. I will draw into, in the second round, make two move up, move actions with a fighter. So it's too good to discard because I can score it in round three. But you're kind of stuck. So I was hoping I would score one in my end, like Utter Isolation. Or like, yeah, it was just Utter Isolation. But, you know, there's nothing you can do when you brick, but still a very doable objective. So really interesting. And like Rob did really well with his <laughs> Hunger Vampires. Especially lucky he had that terrible starting hand, which is the discard. I think the only main error we made was when Rob gained the primacy counter, the first primacy token, the first time in round three, he wouldn't have been able to because that reaction happens after the activation when he uses hunger counters to attack again. But he would have gotten it anyway when he killed my leader. So that's moot. Other than that, the only other errors were just forgetting to place the spine fin, which, yeah, it kind of messed me up a bit in round one, but it didn't really because Rob was still denying my utter isolation because, you know, his fighters were. Too bunched up, but I did like how I basically shut down Prince Duval. Uh, I got very lucky with that. That was, well, it was a nice way to sh show what you can do with poison cards. But even then, we did play one more game. So if you want to see how that turns out, let me know in the episode description below, as always. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you to Rob for playing, especially with the deck he didn't really test. Um, but he did really well. And... It was a surprisingly even match. But yeah, please remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see the second game or what else you'd just like to see in the battle well, for battle reports. So yeah, until next time, try not to drown from pressure, especially when it's drowning in hunger counters, because not even crits can save you against hunger spam.